Um, I'm going to ask Mike about his new venture. So, of course, lots everyone knows you from Wheeler Dealers and hosting our awards and being a lovely guy, obviously. <laughs> but tell us a bit about One Automotive. Well, uh, One Automotive is a business that me and Michelle and James, uh, sitting in front there, uh, we started up, it was like the last thing that I expected in my life. Uh, we already have a very successful television programme, Wheeler Dealers, it's just been on its world tour. Uh, I'm always busy and flat out making that. If I'm not doing that, I'm, I'm hosting live events at the weekends and uh, I have a finger uh, on the pulse of what happens at Mike Brew Motors up in Sheffield. And that's a busy, big operation that uh, it now is automatic. It runs itself after 12 years, which is fantastic. So the last thing I expected was to go again. And I really didn't want to go again. But I did have a beautiful building uh, that was housed in my lovely private car collection. I think you've been there we a have, few yeah. times. Mm -hmm. And it was a lovely, as you know, it's a nice space. And uh, I, uh, on Wheeler Dealers, uh, did a little feature where I bought a Volkswagen Golf Mark I off of a young man called James, who's sitting on the front row there. And I went to his, uh, to his little car site that was on the edge of like a farm sort of unit. Went to his farm site and uh, they were doing vans, commercial vehicles at the same time. And uh, I got talking to James whilst I was buying the Golf and this little piece in my brain was just going, this is the guy. You know, you said you don't want to do it again, but this is the guy that you could do it with. This, this guy's speaking exactly what you want to hear if you were to go and reinvest in the motor trade again. So it didn't take long for me to go home, consult with Michelle and say, because Michelle's, I'm going to use a Docker's, bit of Docker's language. <laughs> She's got a boot up my ass uh, from six o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. Nothing's enough. Uh, for Michelle, she always wants more, let's do this, let's do that. So uh, I come home, consulted Michelle, and she said, absolutely, let's do it, let's get him down there. So we invited James down to the building. He walked in, I said, could you sell vehicles from here? He said, absolutely, and uh, the rest is history, really. We started uh, just over two years ago, and uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's gone. We've turned over several million pounds in that period of time. It's a, a very busy operation. We're consistently doing uh, somewhere between 40 and 50 vehicles a month out of a space that's only 5,000 square foot. Um, but we've adapted, me, James and Michelle, have adapted a, a mentality to the business that is perfect. We want everything to be, you know, very much like we all suffer in the motor trade. Uh, cars are cars. I keep saying to the uh, people that would come back with a complaint over a a slow tire or a, a slow punch or a, an exhaust they've just rattled off as they've gone over a sleeping <laughs> policeman. I will tell them, I didn't build it, I've just sold it to you. You know, I'm not the manufacturer. Um, so, uh, you know, we always run up against them problems, but we run it like you would do. Our philosophy is if we can run it like a Formula One team and just uh, make sure everything, every process we do along the way is perfect, we will succeed. And uh, so far, it's proven its worth. Mike, you it's seem to good. be, I see from social media that you're actually really quite involved in it. I, don't I love know. it. You seem I to be like there all the time. I, I absolutely I love mean, it. Does it's that not please too... James? <laughs> <laughs> it's not too far from the house, which is good. Uh, I have previously just said five minutes ago, Michelle's got a foot up my ass, so it's quite nice to escape. Uh, uh, so my my uh, my my it's almost like my escape room, uh, and I go and hang out with James because he normalises me. He's you know I get there, somebody will throw a rag in my hand and say give that screen a wipe, or can you give us a lift down to the MOT centre? And it actually just normalises normalises me, and it's what I'm good at. It's what I'm good at being in the motor trade. I'm I'm good at talking to people and. Uh, uh, and just being around, you know, I'm good at being around. And I absolutely blooming love it. I really do love it. And as much as I'm, you know, pissed off in a way, sorry, uh, that I'm d doing this because I'm at a stage now in my life and my career, I could throttle off now and just cruise. And uh, no, I'm, I'm now flat out. I wake up every morning. I'm sort of excited to get to, get to the unit, get to the car site. And uh, now... 
when the TV people ring, I'm like, oh, God, really? Okay. I've got to show someone a Vauxhall Mocker. No, yes. I can't. <laughs> really? Honestly, oh, no, that's honestly, me. Honestly, you should see us this <laughs> morning. You. This morning, yesterday, me and James went and picked up, I know, I'm just normal motor traders. Uh, yesterday, we went and picked up a, a Fiesta ST3. Uh, now, we reviewed one of those on, yeah, car, we did. on our you, car dealer. Used car, award oh, right. used car awards. We reviewed one of those. Me and James were like two, honestly, we're like two 18 year old lads around this car and we couldn't be any more excited and that excitement you know we couldn't wait to get back do a video about it get it yeah. out there online because it'd be so we sold the last one in a record we, two hours we advertised it online it was gone in two hours so uh, hopefully this one will be sold whilst we're having this conversation <laughs> it'll be gone today uh, because no I, that's the bit of the trade i absolutely love and that's the reason why uh, michelle got me back into it because she knows it puts a smile on my face and uh, it gives me something to do. Um, so, yeah, long may it continue.